What is up guys, Stas here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about three swing trading tips that actually work. Yes, these actually work. This is not some voodoo BS that you're going to buy a stock here, and then you're going to make a million bucks overnight. Yep, that's it. End of the video. Boop. Nope. This is not that. These are three tips that actually work. And for those of you guys that don't know what swing trading is, it's very simple. You buy a stock one day, you sell it either tomorrow, in a week, two weeks, whatever, right? You buy it and you hold it for an extended period of time. And this is a form of trading that is suitable to a lot of people out there. I personally like it, right? You don't have to be glued to your computer screen all day. You can do it while working a nine to five, while running a business. Let's say you're a real estate agent, you're out showing houses, whatever it may be. You can swing trade while doing that, which makes it a very versatile style of trading. So sit back, relax. If you enjoyed this video, go down below, smash that like button, consider subscribing, and let's get right into it with tip number one, which is do not fight the trend. This is the biggest, biggest problem I'm seeing with swing traders running a community, getting DMs all the time. I'm getting questions. Hey, Stas, do you think this is a good stock to trade while it's in a downtrend in terms of swing trading? And I'm thinking to myself, like, why are you fighting the trend, right? It's clearly in a downtrend. This is not looking good in terms of a swing trade because if you're looking to swing trade a stock you obviously want to ride that uptrend right so for example here this is paypal ticker symbol pypl right this is a stock that okay it's initially dropped from 122 dollars down to where it is right now right so we have that initial margin of profit which is also something a swing trader is looking for they want to get in at a dip right so there's some potential to make money in that particular stock. So from 122, which is the peak, down to about 100 bucks where we are right now, this checks off. There's 18% margin of profit in PayPal. So a lot of people would be would be DMing me now saying, oh my goodness, Stas, PayPal, this is the number one stock to swing trade right now. And I'm thinking to myself, this is clearly in a downtrend, right? If you were to buy PayPal right now, sure, if you're looking to hold it long term, and I mean a couple of years, the downtrend doesn't really matter, right? We're simply talking about swing trading here, right? But let's say you were to buy it as a swing trade, you're buying it into this downwards weakness where there's clearly downwards pressure here. You guys see these moving averages, this yellow line and this green line, the green lines of the 50 SMA, right? This yellow line is the 180 SMA. Both of these levels are acting as resistances. And we're also seeing a bearish cross, which means a smaller time frame moving average is crossing below a larger time frame moving average, which is a bearish signal, right? This, this signals bearish sentiment in a particular stock. We're seeing that here, and we just broke a prominent level of support, which was at around $104, and now we're breaking down into the 90s, guys. So this is clearly a stock that is downtrending, and it's not showing any signs of a reversal right now. So me hopping into this would be fighting the trend. Let's say we were to reverse break out of these moving averages. Let's say we get a bullish cross which is a smaller time frame moving average crossing above a larger time frame moving average, which in this case would be the 50 above the 180, that would be a bullish cross and that would be a reversal of trend. That would be the downtrend turning into an uptrend, turning into the beginning of an uptrend. And if we started to climb back up into, let's say, the 100s, the 105s, we break into the 110s, this can be the trend pushing up, starting to push up. And at that point, that would be a good time to hop in, in my opinion, because we wouldn't be fighting the trend, but we're going with the trend, which is what we want to see. So the second tip I do have here, guys, and I'm looking at my whiteboard, not my whiteboard, oh my goodness, guys, my notepad, not my whiteboard, my notepad here, don't rely on technicals 
only. This is a mistake that I see a lot of people um, really do as well, right? They just simply rely on the charts. They don't look at the overall news that's going on in the economy, what's going on with that particular stock they're trading, and they get burned, right? Let's say Tesla, for example. Let's pull up Tesla stock, right? Let's say you're just looking at Tesla right now, right? And you're, you're looking at the overall chart here. You're noticing, okay, it's downtrending. We're not fighting the trend during this time period, so we wouldn't be trading it because it's clearly downtrending in terms of swing trading. But then we bottomed out at 176, started to break out. And then at this point, you'd be like, okay, now we're no longer downtrending. We're trending above moving averages. We're not fighting the trend. We're actually going with the trend here. So this could be a good time to get in. But then when you look at some news revolving Tesla, involving Tesla, rather, you look at earnings, right? A lot of their earnings recently haven't been so great. You see how the media paints a negative spotlight on Tesla, which is negative in terms of a swing trader's perspective. You start to see that although the technicals are looking good, a lot of what's going on with the actual fundamentals of the business and how the news is portraying the company, it's not so good, right? They, they're getting crushed on earnings. They're not consistently profitable. They just missed on deliveries in terms of the target that analysts had. It was like 99,000 or something like that. They came, they came in at 97,000. So these are some negative fundamentals that can really damper the stock's price, which is why it's extremely important, again, not to only rely on these technicals, but also look at these fundamentals, understand the news surrounding the company. Are there any negative catalysts surrounding the company? Are earnings coming up? What is going on with this company, right? Because if something bad happens fundamentally, if we get a negative catalyst, if anything bad happens, those technicals get thrown out the window. Investors get filled with uncertainty, which is something that we all know at this point. Investors and traders do not like. And then the stock's price will tank. And then what happens, guys, when the stock's price tanks? Well, we lose money. And that's not what we want on this channel. Losing money is a big no-no. So tip number two, don't rely on those technicals only but rely on both technicals and fundamentals. So tip number three is trade your perfect setup, whatever that setup is for you, and don't settle for anything less. If there's no opportunity out there that fits your criteria and your setup, don't trade for that day. You don't have to trade every single day. This is something that I get all the time in the community. You don't have to trade every day. You can trade once, twice, three times a week, and that's it. If you traded the best perfect setup, those one, two, three times a week, you should do a lot better than people that are just hopping in and out of trades a lot throughout the week, trading mediocre setups. So let's say, for example, you're looking to trade Apple, right? In my opinion, Apple right now is looking like a pretty solid setup. We have some positive catalysts. We have a positive catalyst here revolving the Apple iPhone. The iPhone 11 has been doing quite well, which is why, in my opinion, Apple's stock has been really doing quite well compared to a lot of these other tech stocks. If you take a look at, let's say, Amazon, right? This one's getting squashed. Facebook is getting squashed, right? In terms of its previous all-time highs or its previous high, as you guys can see on the four-hour chart. You know, Google has been getting killed, right? Not as bad as Facebook and Amazon, but still, it's not doing as well as Apple. We have Microsoft here, which is honestly hovering. This one's doing pretty good as well. But overall here, guys, Apple, if we trade Apple here, we are abiding by the tips in this video, right? We're not fighting the trend. We're not fighting the trend whatsoever. The trend is clearly up. We're trending above moving averages. We actually just hit a higher high here at about 230 bucks. We're pulling down. It seems like we're holding 225 as a new support right now. And we're also holding that 50 SMA as a new support. So this could very well be a nice little dip buy so we're not fighting the trend whatsoever we're not relying on technicals only the technicals do look good but on the fundamental side we are getting some positive news regarding the apple 11 iphone right this iphone 
is at a price that's very, very attractive. I think the 11, what's it called? The 11 Plus, there's a bunch of different ones this year. There's one that has three cameras, one that has two cameras. The one that's not the savvy one, not, not, not the savvy one, but the very expensive one, which is the, I think it's called the Pro Max or something. The one that's a tier below that is $699. And people have been looking at this as a pretty solid upgrade. And again, we've been getting news that these have been doing quite well. So this, in my my opinion again like I mentioned is holding up the stock so that is a fundamental aspect that's doing quite well and the third tip is trade the perfect setup which again we just talked about this is looking good we're not fighting the trend the fundamentals are looking pretty good right now in terms of Apple. Sure, there's some weakness, there's some tension with trade, but right now trade is in the negotiation process. This Thursday when I'm recording this video in a couple of days, there's going to be another negotiation. So if something negative happens there, sure, this can rock Apple, but we'll do our technicals when that does end up happening. If that does end up happening right now, I'm just talking to you guys with what is going on right now in this moment in time. Time, right so everything's checking out you know Apple is looking good right another one that you could consider a perfect setup is Procter & Gamble, right? The technicals aren't looking as good as Apple, but overall, this one's been trending up. We're not fighting the trend, right? And we've been getting some positive earnings from PG over these past couple of months, driving this stock like crazy, right? Another one that's been doing very well, management has been crushing it, executing like crazy, is Pepsi, right? The fundamentals are strong, the technicals are there, this one is running up, we are not fighting the set up especially if we pull down maybe retest that 180 SMA that I'm going to pull the trigger on because it is looking good especially if that margin of profit is open so that's it for this video guys if you did enjoy it if you did find some value in it if you found it helpful feel free to go down below hit that like button consider subscribing if you do want to see videos about the stock market swing trading investing personal finance this is the channel for you don't forget to join the strive Smart Discord group chat and the Strive Smart Facebook group and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All the links are down below. So I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.